I'm Arclight. I was never a Navy SEAL, but I'm going to do this video anyway. This is Red Wolf TV's video review for the epically long-awaited SOCOM Gear version 2 M82A1 Barrett. Out of the box, the barrel is divided in its two pieces, upper and lower. It also comes with the magazine. The single included magazine with the barrel is essentially a metal shell, which internally is a 150 round Armalite magazine. As a high cap magazine, the outer shell has a hole in it for access to the winding wheel. In its disassembled state, the barrel is actually quite compact. Here, in comparison to a 22 inch barrel M14, you can see that the barrel is actually quite short which means, with the exception of its weight, it's logistically actually quite easy to take it to and from games. On the issue of weight, the Barrett comes in at about 10 kilos or 22 pounds, which means taking it to and from sites is fairly easy as it is logistically equivalent to a pair of DMRs. Unlike, say, a Vulcan, which would require the hiring of a Titan II intercontinental ballistic missile. The installation of the monopod is fairly simple. Simply slot it in its little hole and screw down the bolt to its desired height. Next step, to make things a little bit easier on yourself, deploy the bipod. It's a simple pull down type and then slide into place. In this step, I'll show you how to unfold the upper part of the barrel. So, first step, we slide the outer barrel all the way to the front. Next, the black plastic buffer is pushed back against the block. The third step, we pick up this spring mounted block and we pull it back onto the rectangular portion here. That's it, you're all done. The generously sized battery space is more than enough to accommodate even a 12 volt battery, which means it can take a large, no problem. The small type connector does mean that installation to batteries with large tabs will need a converter. The upper of the barrel is held onto the lower by a pair of lugs. So for this next step, we remove the lugs. One at the back, and one at the front, just towards the bottom. With the lugs removed, now the upper simply needs to be dropped onto the lower. This is made easier with the hooked block on the top designed to engage the bar on the bottom. So, first, we mount the top, sliding it to its forwardmost position against the block. Next, we move the bolt back, and the hop-up unit forward. Now it can drop in place, the hop-up can slide onto the nozzle, and the box can move forward. With everything together, now we just have to replace the lugs. So that completes the assembly guide for the SOCOM Gear Barrett M82A1 version 2. So now we commence with the firing test in Red Bull TV's secret underground testing bunker. We'll be taking these shots at 20 meters using Jim Bob as our standardized target. So now we commence with the first test, 10 shots directed at the head. This is our second shot grouping. We'll be taking 10 shots at the torso now. We're aiming for center mass for optimum hit ratio. Hit. 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 Hit, hit, hit. Uh, uh, hit. 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 Post firing notes. As the operator, I can point out that the weapon is large and heavy, which means holding it up and keeping it on target is tricky, which is why using this weapon while prone is the ideal situation. So this weapon is heavy, but that said,
By far the most important feature of this weapon for the shooter is the monopod. With the great weight of the weapon, the ability to rest it on the monopod is amazingly useful. With over four inches of adjustable height, that means that you can actually optimize it on target. It also has a finite adjust screw to adjust it by a few millimeters at a time, which means you can quite literally aim this weapon perfectly given enough time. The rubberized butt plate is both comfortable and high grip. It has a natural curve in it which hooks your shoulder ever so slightly, which is that much more important for operating a weapon this heavy. The pistol grip is the bog standard AEG armor light type. The one with it is perfectly fine, but that does mean that for maximum operator comfort and efficiency, you can put on any one you want. The authentic markings are fully licensed and are very thoroughly and neatly engraved into the metal magwell. The easy use hinge allows the bipod to be folded up conveniently by hand without tools. It can be folded either forward or back, whichever is more convenient for you. The extendable legs on the bipod are adjustable up to about six inches and independently adjustable one of one another. This gives you not only an awful lot of give, but an awful lot of opportunity even on uneven terrain. In much the same way that the charging handle is a functionally useless but very cool feature on an AEG, the Socom Gear Bar also features a recoiling barrel which sits on springs, just like the real steel. In the same easy takedown feature with the main receiver on the weapon, the bipod is also removable by a single lug, which means that if you do need to remove the bipod for whatever reason, it's very easy to do so, and reattachment is just as easy. The highly robust carry handle is solid steel, which means it can handle the weight of this weapon no problem. In the first test of 10 shots against the green gas can head, it hit 9 out of 10 shots. From the shooter's perspective, with the addition of the magnified scope, I could see that the 9 hits all landed within an inch and a half of each other, which is very good for a gun right out of the box. In conclusion, so what do I think about this weapon? Well, on the outside, it's awesome. It's well balanced, although heavy. It's incredibly robust, and it looks like a beast. Internally, it's great. It's shooting at near DMR standards right out of the box. But with its high modifiability, it can only get better. This has been a Red Wolf TV video review of the Socom Gear M82A1 version 2. I'm Mark Light, this is a heavy gun, and for these products and more, be sure to check out our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. One shot from this, and it's all over.